today's thought. It is not faith and works. It is not faith or works. It is faith that works. Author unknown. Proverbs 29. He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father, but he that keepeth company with harlots spendeth his substance. The king by judgment establisheth a land, but he that receiveth gifts overthrow it. A man that flattereth his neighbor spreadeth a net for his feet. In the transgression of an evil man there is a snare, but the righteous doth sing and rejoice. The righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. Scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turneth away wrath. If a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. The poor and the deceitful man meet together. The Lord lighteneth both their eyes. The king that faithfully judgeth the poor, his throne shall be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yea, he shall give delight unto thy soul. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. A servant will not be corrected by words, for though he understand, he will not answer. Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. He that delicately bringeth up his servant from a child shall have him become his son at the length. An angry man stirreth up strife, and a furious man aboundeth in transgression. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Whoso is partner is the thief, heedeth his own soul. He heareth cursing, and bereath it not. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment cometh from the Lord. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Proverbs 29 mentions a weakness of all mankind. If proof of God is not seen, like a vision or a miracle, many will not believe there is a God, or that He is dealing with them. They are sight-oriented. Man has to see it to believe it in most cases. By nature, man is weak in faith in God. In Old Testament times, if there was no proof, the people's faith in God disappeared. Most were reliant on the miracles of godly leaders, or God's miracles. Living by sight, as were many in bygone days, temporarily followed God. As soon as the proof was gone or forgotten, so was their faith. There were some during the earlier times that did not constantly need proof of God's presence or workings. They learned about God's dealings with men from scriptural writings and what was said by the prophets and godly leaders. By faith, they believed and obeyed God's commandments. They were not only faithful in following God's desires, but they were contented and happy. Even in dark, frightening moments, their faith did not waver. Faith is essential to having a close, trusting walk with the Lord. That is why many of today's forms of Christianity are not of God or are very weak in faith. They want to dwell by sight. They feel they are strong in the Lord after they experience speaking in tongues, experience healing abilities, handle poisonous snakes, foretell the future happenings and other miracles. Those proofs may not be of God in most cases and according to the word of God, are not for this church age. God said, when the perfect preserved Bible was given to man, we are not to live any longer by sight and miracles. We are to live 
by faith. 1 Corinthians 13.8 Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Too many are still relying on proof from God. He has given Jesus, the Savior of mankind, to all who will believe and follow him and his recorded commandments. All we need to know and believe is between the preserved pages of the Bible. Believe, obey, and trust all he has said. Live by faith, not by sight. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, may the Lord continue to bless and guide you.